Dus, uh, dit is Wessel Simons van Bitcoin Magazine. En we uh, zitten hier met Faceter. Maybe we can start with a short introduction. Uh, who are you and what do you do? Uh, my name is Rob. I'm the CEO of Faceter. We are the first to be combining facial recognition with data mining and uh, neural networks, cloud computing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, the, and uh, what, how do you make use of the, the blockchain actually? So, um, mm. when we use fog computing, we're also distributing our, our information through to miners that can actually mine. And this is where we're offering first proof of, of recognition. Okay. And um, so, instead of having large servers in like little homes uh -huh, uh -huh. and processing video analytics, we can distribute this through to miners and we can make the product more affordable. This means facial recognition can now be available for everybody as opposed to just large governments. Ah. The blockchain is quite important also with um, uh, our token. Tokens, mm -hmm. tokens at the heart of our process. I cannot sell my product without burning a token. So yeah. in short, I go to the market, I have to buy a token, burn it, and through a smart contract, it issues a license to my clients. Okay. That's how my client actually can buy my product from me. Yeah. Okay, so, and are you focused on the private market or on the on the business market? Is it business to business or? Yeah, that's a great question actually, because this mm. is actually where we sit quite strongly on is that we are for the mass market. Okay. So Consumer. it includes business to business and it includes government, but we don't believe that there's any product out there that's really offering something at that kind of a level for the small home user, the small business, and using in a decentralized manner with using fog computing to make it affordable for everybody. Okay. And the, 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 the end product is facial recognition? No, absolutely oh. not. Oh, Computer sorry. vision technology is actually okay. what we specialize in. We started with card scanning yeah. and now we moved, hey, listen, we did our card scanning with, uh, with uh, pay cards and it was downloaded over 25,000 times. And um, it's a funny story, I actually got mugged and then speaking to the team, we said, hey, can we do facial recognition? Spoke to my guys with over 20 years experience in machine learning and facial recognition and uh, computer vision. Uh -huh. And we actually moved that over to facial recognition as the first product here on this side. Okay. And um, we're hitting 99.78%. But the vision goes further. We, uh -huh. We're making cameras intelligent. So what they can do is they can see, analyze, and respond to a situation, a face, or an object. So even a warehouse where something must have moved to one side, for example, when your child leaves school, notify the mother, that kind of a thing. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. It's through trusted nodes, so it's nothing like where the stuff is streaming out on the internet where most people think of Skynet and they think of these movies stuff. Like, it's yeah, not like yeah. that at all. Mm -hmm. We have our open source uh, uh, protocols, it's online. Uh, people can see what we're doing, they can see our code. Um, what we're doing is we're mm -hmm. providing services, we, we're providing a platform to which applications can be built upon. And I'm telling you, okay. every day, it's mm -hmm. endless. We're speaking to so many people that okay. are wanting to do things on our platform. Uh, do you already have customers? Maybe you have an example of a customer. I don't know, maybe it can be someone who actually is a manager of a, of a warehouse or... We got a, well, our proof of concept was actually done with uh, one of the larger casinos in South Africa. Okay. And it's fantastic because you got, uh, in this use case, you've got customers that um, ban themselves from the casinos because they've got a gambling problem. And then they return to the casino and if mm -hmm. they, they win money, they say nothing. But if they lose, they go to the casino and they say, I registered to be banned. Now with, with facial recognition with Faista, uh -huh. um, you are able to set alerts on certain faces. So if the person saying, look, I want to ban myself, sure, no problem, we're just gonna take a photograph of you or take a video. We take the facial hash uh -huh. and we can alert security in real time to their phone or to the cabinet and then, listen, this customer is actually asked not to come uh -huh. in here. That's just one use case. Uh, the use cases yeah. are absolutely endless, but it literally can save the casinos millions. Okay. Also, for governments, this kind of uh, this kind of technology it must be like a wet dream. I mean, they can. <laughs> no, I mean, well, actually, I believe that the governments already use this kind of technology. However, the software that they're using is very cumbersome, sits on big servers, and um, it, it lacks uh, functionality, and mm. they're completely ignoring neural networks. So, so they don't utilize the blockchain in any way. No. And this kind of technology, we're not short of power. There's so many data farms and, and computer power that we can pull from, and we can make this product more affordable. And um, we're saying that uh, the governments and large businesses and even the guys providing those services are quite comfortable with what they got. With what we're doing by providing the mass market, we force to make something that is simple, mm. something that is easy for people to use because everyone's going to be using it. When you edit a photograph on your phone, yeah. nobody teaches you how to do that no, because no. it's just so simple. 
when you work with our product, you can see even our demo application that's online at faster.io, you can play with it and you can actually see how it works. It's, the functionality is like fantastic, and that's what we deliver is, is functionality and ease of use. Yeah. And can you give an example just for the, for the private household? Can you give an example of that technology uh, oh, used in a private household? Okay, while we're on private household, I'd just like to say, we're talking about things where a private house will pay like 10 euros, $10 yeah. per month to have facial recognition or object uh, um, computer vision technology in their home. And okay. they can have that even a closed loop system in some forms, you know. So um, mm. with that in a use case, I want you to imagine that you don't want a child to enter, for example, into the garage where there's dangerous things, so the door won't unlock to a garage. Uh, okay, that what about be. detecting a fire in the corner of the house? Open all doors yeah, to yes. let people get out. Or lock doors where the fire is to let people out. The applications are absolutely endless for what you can do. You can for smart homes. Uh, absolutely for smart homes. You, your child leaves from school, so you start making the food at home. The mother can start making food because she's <laughs> alerted to her phone that the child has left. And already now, schools have CCTV that's streaming to, to parents that want to see their kids at the school. But the cameras are just staring. They, yeah. They're not responding. And we've got not machine learning in the back end, so our technology gets smarter all the time. Okay, sounds good. Just a few questions about the ICO and then I think we round up. So what are your plans for the ICO? When is, uh, is it already ICO running? PICO? No, but we're short of a day here. It's, it's launching on the 1st of February. Okay. Yeah. And uh, according to our subscribers and, and to our chats, it looks like we already, our pre-sale amounts has gone. And those tokens are probably going to go too quickly. Look, I haven't sold because the gate needs to open on the 1st of February. Okay. But from our chat groups and from our subscribers, from what we can tell and what the, uh, potential contributors have said to us, it looks like we've already reached that milestone. So, look, okay. there's lots more tokens, but I'm just saying we're going to have to move back the full token sale to an earlier date because the pre-sale okay. is going to go too quickly. Pre-sale uh, is already... Pre-sale starts 1st of February, oh, okay. but from what I'm discussing with my the, the clients and yeah, 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 yeah. subscribers, yeah. Okay. it's, it's going to go. And the hard cap, uh, what's the hard cap for the pre-sale? We're going to set the hard cap after we see how things go with the, the pre-sale. Okay, so we okay. don't want to set it just now. I don't want to say a figure, but we have listed it on our site, so we've got some visions there. But mm. um, we'll set so it... How many percentage will be sold on a pre-sale? On the pre-sale, we have got... It's only uh, eight million, eight million. But tokens, the to yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only eight million tokens in the pre-sale. Yeah. And so that's that's okay. like eight hundred, eight hundred uh, thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay, eight hundred yeah. thousand dollars. Yeah. What? Uh, how many capital you want to raise? Uh, if the if well, I would like to see us hit a hard cap of forty million. Forty million. Yeah. So you can see it's just a small percentage in in the pre-sale. But what, what are you going to use the 40 million uh, for? Yeah, it's Just, a very good uh, question. Absolutely. Well, um, this only helps us to go a lot faster. Mm. We've already invested over 1.2 million just in our seed investment. We did the card scanning technology and moved it over to facial recognition. But when you see the bigger picture of what we're trying to do, it was like Android for your mobile phone, and all of a sudden you've got endless capabilities. We're building the operating system to which surveillance will connect to. And the world okay. needs to be able to utilize these services. So we'll be dealing with millions of people with applications. I'm dealing with a company now that wants to do facial verification for over 60,000 applications per month to verify a person's selfie to his identification card so they can approve okay. microfinancing. So you've got to see the bigger picture of decentralizing it, fog computing, and involving a lot of miners and having literally endless capability going through our platform. It requires, it requires servers, it requires a lot of workers and it requires a lot of development. Our prototype works mm. from a centralized point of view. I want to decentralize that technology, make it affordable for everyone. And, and will that's the, going to take a lot of money. Okay, sorry. Yeah, will the data, last question, will the data will be uh, uh, stored centrally or decentrally? Can all data be we, we can stored make it, in a blockchain? We, we can um, provide a centralized solution, like certain places like casinos want centralized solutions. Mm. And uh, where it's decentralized, it's nothing where customers have to worry about because using the blockchain, um, we've got obfuscated data. So facial images are split up into little bits and pieces. Okay. And um, the miners then are mining, seeing like maybe they'll get like one pixel, even if they could decode it, which they can't because it's obscured. Okay, uh, okay. And it goes through trusted nodes. So um, that then gets compared between all the servers and, and that's where they get their proof of recognition. So the privacy is... 
you, they don't have enough material to decrypt, if okay. you understand. So yeah. if it, they don't get a picture coming to them, no, no. Okay, it's okay. like a, a spot. Okay, <laughs> so, okay. And that's and if you look at it from the mass, because that blockchain has made that available now. There's literally millions of computers out there with okay. all these fans running. And it's harder for them to mine the, the cryptocurrencies from day to day with more people entering the pool. But uh, with us, we can also offer miners um, a higher payment than some of these cryptocurrencies. So it, okay. it makes sense to mine our video analytics than to, to mine a crypto coin in some cases. All right, sounds good. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And all the best for, uh, for the ICO. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Appreciate it.